Paul Gosling is my name. I'm standing here outside Lynch's Castle in Galway, um, uh, leading a project uh, with students of first year of the BA in Heritage Studies at GMIT Galway. Um, we're conducting a survey of public opinion on the question, which is before me, um, should Lynch's Castle be converted into a heritage facility? Lynch's Castle is one of the foremost medieval buildings, not only in Galway, but in Ireland. It's a rare survival of a type of um, merchant's house that was probably very common in many of the main provincial uh, towns in Ireland and in fact right across Europe. And its situation here at the junction of four streets emphasises the fact that not only was it a house of a prestige family, the Lynches, but it also contributed to the communal defence of medieval Galway, along with other castles such as Blake's Castle down um, towards the Spanish Arch and an Assize Castle which is uh, was situated uh, around about where uh, Ryan's home store is um, down in, in Market Street. Uh, the project is um, twofold. One, to gauge public opinion, but the second aim is to upskill the students in the first year of heritage studies um, with regard to how to measure public opinion, um, to do Vox Pop. Um, we have an online survey using SurveyMonkey. We've got a Facebook presence and a Twitter presence. So using these uh, multimedia uh, high-tech uh, aids, we're also conducting a footfall survey uh, on the main street of Galway. And uh, that's what has us here today. Luckily, so far, the weather is benign. And we have a group of four students here between 12 and 3 o'clock today, Friday, and tomorrow, Saturday. And we're asking Jim the single question, should Lynch's Castle be converted into a heritage facility? Lynch's Castle might be more appropriately used as a visitor centre uh, tourist office, gallery, museum, uh, rather than uh, as a bank branch. Oh, absolutely! I totally agree with that. You would? Yes. Um, I think it would. That would be an excellent idea. It would also make a great arts centre. I think it would be a great idea. They have enough buildings now, and as I see that there isn't many staff. They've loads of buildings and banks that yeah, they could easily do that. No problem. Thank you. I think it should definitely be turned into a heritage centre. After all, the government owns it now, they own AIB Bank, so they could give it back. That's one of the few surviving examples of what the city looked like. And I, I, I think it's perfect for poetry and for, for art galleries and music and all the rest. It's fantastic. It's for, I mean, it's in the heart of the city. Like. Uh, I think I'm not from here, so I, I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> but I think it must be a good idea, yes. <laughs> I think it should be. We're here converted into one, but if they could leave the ATM machines on the side. I agree. Yeah, me too. Cause it's, it's like there's plenty of banks around Galway and they could move it anywhere really, so it would be nice to have just the ca castle as a heritage place. And it would be handy for tourists for some place to go as well. I think. Um, I would be in support of that. I think AIB have many branches. And um, especially in a, a city like Galway, that that's majorly uh, dominated by tourism, I think any extra heritage centres um, is only an asset, a further asset to the beautiful city that is Galway. So um, I would definitely be in favour of turning us from corporate into tourism and heritage. Thank you very much. Thank you. What do you think? Yeah, it should be turned into a heritage uh, place for people to actually enjoy it and look at us besides going in and paying bills. Good, thank you very much, no problem. <laughs> I think it should be turned into a heritage centre and a museum for the people. That'd be great. I think the bank should be persuaded to... There's loads of empty office buildings around. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much. You're welcome. OK. I, I think it should be. I do agree. Um, yeah, sure. Sure, like you said, the taxpayer are, are paying for it, so it should be given to the public. And if it was uh, if it was converted, what, would you, um, what facilities would you put in? Would you put gallery, museum, poetry centre? Um, well, I don't know, we only have like a museum, so maybe uh, a gallery, possibly. Like, that's that true, we don't have a gallery in Galway, yeah? that's, no, that's correct. Like a proper, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect, thanks very much. No problem. <laughs> yes. In my opinion, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So I don't think the banks need another branch, they have enough branches as it is, so why not give it up? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think definitely. Should. I think it'll be good for the tourists as well when they come to go and to see this like this. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Here it comes. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's shoot. Yeah. 
Should Lynch's Castle be turned into a heritage facility? Lynch's Castle right now, if I was invading Ireland, is what I would put up my communications. I would have a 24-hour television station. It would never close. It would be free, open to the public. It'd have a Facebook account, a Twitter account, centre of information. I also think it should be lit 24 hours a day. It should be a coffee bar and a roof garden with a band playing all the time. And it should be um, a zone where buskers can continue to, what do they call it now, change their strings and basically uh, add to the west of Ireland. Oh, and we should also be the city of culture. We should rob the comedy thing from Kilkenny. We should also invade and snatch the jazz thing from Cork. And Galway should be uh, the New York of tomorrow, today. How's that? Lynch's Castle. Woo!